Happy Sunday! We are excited and happy to see you and have you join us for another great Sunday where we get to worship God, we get to dance for Him, and we get to learn from His Word. So I hope you are ready and excited. I hope you have your Bible with you, have your notebook with you, and have your pen with you because today it's going to be an awesome Sunday. So right now I want us to begin with a word of prayer and then we'll go into a time of dancing and worshiping God. So let's begin with a word of prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for allowing us this time to gather together at our home so that we can worship you, we can praise your name, we can dance for you, and we can listen to your word. Lord, as we prepare to do this, oh God, I pray that you open our hearts and our ears that we may hear from you. We love you, Lord. We worship you and we bless your holy name. In Jesus' name I pray and we all say it. Amen. It is time to dance for Jesus. So get your dancing shoes and let's worship the Lord together.
Good morning boys and girls. Another beautiful Sunday morning to think and talk about Jesus and the Word of God. This morning we are going to talk about a friend of Jesus. Actually, he came to tell us who Jesus was. This was John the Baptist. Does anyone remember who John the Baptist was? Anyone? Anyone? Anyway, John the Baptist came and started preaching about Jesus. But who remembers who are the parents of John the Baptist? Anyone? The parents of John the Baptist was uh, Elizabeth and the priest um, Zachariah, the pri Zachariah the priest. John the Baptist was, jo was born before Jesus Christ. And so he started his work before Jesus. And his work, he went out and started preaching in the wilderness or in the desert. There was not much food in the desert. So what John the Baptist would eat, anyone can guess? Locusts and honey. At least the honey was very sweet. I'm sure he enjoyed it. And his clothes, they were made of camel's hair and a leather belt around his waist. So John the Baptist did not have much, but he did a good job of telling us about Jesus. And so he started preaching in the wilderness to many people. Many, many people went to him to hear about Jesus. And John the Baptist also was baptizing people and he was telling them to repent because the kingdom of God is near. While he preached to the crowd, he kept telling them that after me, there's somebody else even more important than him, than, than him who would come. So the people were amazed because they thought he was a great man and he said an even greater person would come. And he said indeed that he had to become greater, Jesus had to become greater and John the Baptist would become lesser. So as he preached and he kept telling them to repent because the kingdom of God is near. And the people came and asked him questions and some wanted to be baptized and finally even Jesus himself came to be baptized. And um, when, when, Jesus, when, when, when Jesus came to be baptized, John was like, oh no, I cannot be the one to baptize you. In fact, you should be the one baptizing me. But Jesus was saying, no, it is okay, it is proper for you to baptize me at this time because that is God's plan. And he kept on preaching to the people and telling them that they needed to honor God that if they did not God, God, honor God, that God could raise children for, for Abraham from the stones and they too would be able to praise God. And he warned them that the people who were not going to follow the teachings of, the, the teaching that he had told them about Jesus, that they were going to be removed from God's presence. He told them, it's like a tree that was, had an axe at the, at the root and if it doesn't, do bear the, the right fruit that God wants, the tree would be cut. So all the people were really, really, really amazed about, about John the Baptist and about Jesus, whom he, he, he kept talking about, this great prophet he talked about. And so all the people were eagerly waiting so to, he, to see who is this person who is more powerful than this prophet, John. And therefore one day, as John was preaching, he saw Jesus come and he told them, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So Jesus came to be baptized by John the Baptist and he entered the river Jordan to be baptized. So John baptized Jesus in the river Jordan and God approved, showed approval of Jesus by sending his Holy Spirit who came upon Jesus like a dove and a voice came from heaven and said, This is my son, whom I love. Listen to him. So Jesus went away and continued and started his preaching ministry. And you know what? So many people started following Jesus. And some people started feeling and telling John, Actually, everyone is going to you, to, to, to the man you baptized. And, and John said, Actually, that's why I came to I came preaching to introduce him to the world. He must become bigger 
and I must become smaller. So John prepared Jesus, baptized him, and let him out to go and start preaching. And meanwhile, John became less and less as Jesus became more and more famous. That is how John the Baptist prepared Jesus for his ministry work. We are now going to invite teacher John, Don, Jonathan to teach us the memory verse. Welcome, teacher Jonathan. Hi, boys and girls. I hope you've learned a lot about John the Baptist and the baptism of Jesus Christ. Are you ready for the memory verse of today from the book of John, chapter 3, verse 30? Aha. Can you open your Bibles? If you are with me, thumbs up, thumbs up. Hey. Okay, let's, let us say it together. John chapter 3 verse 30, it says, He must become greater, I must become lesser. Can we repeat it again? Let's repeat it again. John chapter 3 verse 30, it says, He must become greater, I must become lesser. Thank you, teacher Jonathan, for that very beautiful and wonderful memory verse about John the Baptist. So now, boys and girls, what have we learned today? the story of John the Baptist. He came and in introduced us to Jesus. He told the world about Jesus and he baptized Jesus in the wilderness and the Holy Spirit came on Jesus and said, this is my beloved son whom I, whom I love. Thank you all. I hope you remember the, memory, the, the lesson and the memory verse. The next, I'm sure in the next lesson you're going to be asked what you learned. And now it's time for us to give money for Jesus. Kindly remind your parents, mom and dad, to give money for Jesus through their mobile phones in the pay bill that they already know. Thank you. As we end the lesson, we are going to pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you that you revealed yourself to us through Jesus. We thank you for John the Baptist who came to introduce Jesus to us. I pray that you will help us to remember your word, the things we have learned today, and to learn to be like John the Baptist, who wants to become lesser so that you, Jesus, may become greater in our lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.